Hey everyone, I wanted to show you uh, the uh, solar system we put on our 2021 Jayco Eagle HT. This is the 284BHOK. And so far we've really enjoyed the camper. Um, the reason we went with the solar is it's we, we opted for the 12 volt fridge. So we don't have the option to switch to propane when we're not on shore power. And that terrified the hell out of me. So uh, I decided to go the solar route and we went with some lithium batteries. And the solar system I chose was from Rich Solar. And it's uh, technically wasn't listed as one of their RV kits, um, but it is a kit and it comes with a MP MPPT charge controller and two 200 watt solar panels with all the wiring and everything we needed. Um, so far, it's been a great system. If I had one complaint, the app is hokey as hell. But other than that, everything seems to be working. So let's dive right in. First thing I'll show you is the batteries. I went with the Lion Energy UT1300s. I actually got a scream and deal on these at a local Murdoch's Ranch supply store. Uh, I went with two. Sorry, this is a disaster under here. I gotta figure out something with this cord, but uh, I did go with two batteries <clears throat> and I did move them off of this area. Something about having, you know, $1,500 worth of batteries sitting on the front of the camper kind of made me nervous. So we, uh, I did move them in here and I really hate where they're at. So I'm actually thinking about moving them behind the water compartment back there and trying to figure out a way to build a bracket to stack them but so far you know working great one of the major issues i ran into with this this camper was pre-wired for solar and it was pre-wired for a go power system and in my opinion the go power systems are way overpriced for what you get for the same money i got two 200 watt panels and an MPPT charge controller. The Go Power system at the same cost was 190 watt panel and a PWM, or if I'm saying that right, charge controller, which if I understand correctly, isn't as good of a charge controller. It doesn't do as good of a job pulling all the energy out of the panels. So one thing I ran into was the place that was pre-wired for the charge controller was on the wall behind the slide and I didn't like that. So I had to find the wiring back there and I'll show you, I lucked out, I'll show you how I lucked out on that. But then I had to figure out how they wired it in here with Jayco. There's a panel there and I, that I got into and I could figure out where all the wires were at and then pull them in here. So, but so far this charge controller works really well. Like I said, the app that comes with it that you Bluetooth to it's, it sucks, I'm sorry. This is the exact same charge controller that Renogy was using. They have their own app, the app is identical. You can use the Renogy app with this charge controller, they both suck. <laughs> so, uh, if I had one complaint, that would be it. Let's, uh, I'll take a take you inside, show you exactly where the it was supposed to mount and how I found the wires. Okay, I'll come inside here. Now, I got my slide in. But back here on the wall, there was a sticker about right there. Sorry, it's getting kind of blurry. You can kind of see the sticker residue in the picture there. That's where the Go power system was supposed to wire. Well, that's a flush mounted system. And as you can see, that MPPT charge controller is not a flush mount. I didn't want the wires and stuff showing. So I decided I wanted it in my bay. Well, Come to find out, Jayco and their infinite wisdom. I love my Jayco camper, but there are some things these RV manufacturers do that make absolutely no sense. And their infinite wisdom back here, let's uh this is the bathroom. Okay. And the vanity. This is where I lucked out, truthfully. Behind the vanity here. I got to, to the wires and I need to put a patch panel over this, but 
I found my wires, okay? So if you pull these out, Jayco was nice enough to leave the negative battery cable coming from the solar panels attached, but they disconnected the positive. So if they would just leave that connected and let us cut it, if that's where we want to put the charge controller, it would be so much better because then I wouldn't have had to find this spot, cut a hole in my wall and then splice the wires together. So Jayco, leave the wires spliced together. If we want to cut it, we'll cut it. All right. Now I'll hop up on the roof and we'll show you the panels and the pre-wired uh, entry point for the, where the wires come in. All right. So these are the two 200 watt panels. Um, I did this installation myself. A lot of people put these panels side by side, but I wanted to be able to access the side of the RV a little easier without having to step on the panels. I don't know if this was the best location for them, but it's where I put them. Came with all the bracketry. Looks like I need to add a little more die core to that one. And uh, basically to mount these, I put uh, butyl tape on the bottom of the bracket. Stuck the brackets down, screwed them down, and then uh, put the self-leveling die core over the top of the brackets. So far we haven't seen any leakage. These are the splice kits they give you. So that you can splice them together and I have to honestly look back and see if I ran these in series or in parallel. I'm, I'm a plumber so I don't fully understand all that stuff but uh, I'm sure somebody watching this can tell two negatives together and then the two positives together and then you run them into the spot that Jayco gives you now if I understand correctly what the wiring size that Jayco pre-wired this for I have maxed this out with the amps that I'm allowed so if I want to add more panels, I think I got to run more wire down to the front of the RV again. But so far, this thing has exceeded everything we've needed to do when it comes to keeping the fridge running. In the future, I would like to add possibly the GoPower uh, inverter so that we can run some outlets and possibly our TV and that kind of stuff. And at that point, I might need more solar, but. We don't do a whole lot of, you know, dry camp boondocking type stuff. So for now, like right now, this thing's been parked next to my house. It's not plugged in. Fridge is still running and it's been running for two weeks and the batteries are topped off every day. So, so far, if, you know, if you've got this pre-wired stuff, um, go for it. If you're fine with the Go Power system, I mean, you could even order these panels and order the Go Power controller but I don't think you'll pull as much out of the panels as what you could possibly get if you went with the MPPT. But uh, so far this thing's been great. That's a lot of solar for, for what we use it for just to keep our batteries charged. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer them. I'm, like I said, I'm not a solar tech, but I learned quite a bit just in doing this little project. So ask away.